Okay, you guys, this is episode one of All Falls Down. I was recording the dare, but then I'm like, wait a minute. It's like four different the dares, and I don't know which one I was about, so I had to stop. And plus, somebody tried to video chat me in the middle of it. I was so pissed. Damn, that shit irritated me. But let's see how All Falls Down go. And excuse me if I just bust out singing Kanye West in the middle. <laughs> okay. My name is Duff Kennedy. All right, girl. Likes that name, child. Yes, hair for life, girl. Okay. Then this is my story. Dove. That's a beauty name. Uh, girl, if I ever make a mistake and have another kid, girl, and it's a girl I'm naming her Dove. That is wonderful. Dallas and Dove. Oh, that's cute, y'all. Anyway, get over it. I'm not having any more kids. Okay. Please, Jesus, before we start, I'm going to pray. Please let it be the new characters. Okay. Of the course of 17 years on this earth, I've lived 15, and I lived in 15 different cities. Damn. <sighs> With about 15 different families to match. Please, 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 God. Please don't let it be the bullshit characters. <laughs> Starting today, I get, I get to call North Philly my home. Hey, Philly. <laughs> It isn't the prettiest looking town I've ever lived in. Oh, girl. Okay, girl. Well, get used to it. You live for now. But it ain't the worst either. Okay. Okay, okay. The streets are filled with trash. And most, if not all, the buildings are condemned and vandalized. Mm -hmm. This is my new home. Don't feel sorry for me. At least I haven't been beat up. Yet. Oh, girl. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Okay, home sweet home. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm excited. Because y'all been sending me a lot of stories with them old-ass characters. And they, them bitches stress me out. <laughs> to the fullest capacity, honey. You know it could be worse, Dove. This is Carol, my social worker from the age of five, honey. My father died from cancer and my mother left us right after I was born. Damn. I didn't have any other family, so I was sent straight into foster care. Girl, I know what it's like, girl. I've been in the system for 12 years. I went in the system that long, child. No one wanted to adopt a five-year-old, especially as I'm with as many issues as me. What's this one like anyway? Her name's Rose Dixon. She's 30 years old, unmarried, no kids, and working as a teacher at a, the private school in the next town over. A private school? And she lives here? Teachers don't make millions, Dove. But she work at a private school, so she should be making a little bit more coin than a public school teacher, honey. <laughs> I guess that means she just needs... The government check I come attached with. Not all foster parents want money. I believe that when I see it, honey. Anyway, you'll be attending private school um, at Ridgeview instead of local public school. I think it'd be a nice step up for you. I'm sorry. It sounded like you said that I will be going to a private school. That's exactly what I said. I can't go to a private school, Carol. <laughs> this is really not that bad. Who the hell is she? Oh, this is Rose. Okay, uh, you get used to all the prep eventually. Well, aren't you quite the talker? She takes a while to warm up to people. You're making me sound like a dog. She speaks. Girl, you're real extra. Girl, we have the next big comedian in our head. I promise you're going to love it. We'll see about that. Is there a cute boy at the school? I'm just saying. <laughs> I must admit that the inside was significantly, was slightly nicer than the outside. I don't know why I'm trying to use some big words, girl. Um, it was very homey. It was lived in, but still had a calming presence. Um, we were, there were 
photos on the wall. This big green couch and books everywhere. Rose knew how to make the best out of a bad situation. Okay, girl. Yeah. My new room was also doubles as her home office. Lucky me. Right, girl? You're going to be all in my damn personal space? Uh-uh. I don't like that. Girl, you sleep in here and let me get your room. I'm sorry that your bedroom is technically still an office with a pull-out couch. I didn't exactly have the time or resources to give this place a makeover. It's fine. Rose, I'm going to need to go over some last minute paperwork with you. Of course. Let's head into the ki let's head into the kitchen. And it seems like one of the good ones. Don't mess it up. When have I ever messed anything up? <laughs> I mean it does. This is your last shot. Don't mess it up. I got it. Bitch. Send me out, bitch. Who does she think she is? Right, girl. Deep down, I knew she was right. This was my last shot to have a uh, have any kind of a family. In a year from now, I'll be 18 and completely on my own. Rose does seem like one of the good ones, but I don't trust anyone. I can't trust anyone. Not after what happened with the Allens. Duff, Carol's leaving. You should come say goodbye. You uh, later at night. I'm going to try to think. What the hell am I about to cook? Hi, Dove. Are you ready for dinner? I'm not that hungry. Cheryl said your favorite meal was spaghetti. Respond politely. No, thank you, Rose. I think I'm going to go for a walk. I don't know if that's the best <laughs> idea for you to be walking around at night. <laughs> this isn't exactly the, the safest neighborhood to be in. Especially after dark. Don't worry about me, Rose. Rose, you do. Who, who my made you, Rose? You a little bitch. Let's go to the left. Hey, hey. What a classy place. Why we walking the motherfucking alley, though? She got on Tim's <laughs> or, or combat. <sighs> I can really use something to eat. Then why didn't you eat her food, fucking idiot? Say about Mr. Krabs. <sighs> it seat yourself. Thanks. Okay, sit down. What can I get you? I'll have a Coke and a burger. Coming right up. It's a cute little diner. I wonder if they're looking for people. So what? All of a sudden in front of the door, the way the front door of the diner swung open, sending the chimes above the door into a frenzy. Small group of guys walked in. Two of them were obviously drunk off their asses. Hey, Detroit, y'all. That was such a great party. It was all right, man. You're getting too excited about parties. What? They're fun. <laughs> That's because you finally got Jimmy to speak more than two words to you. Uh-huh. Hey. 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 At least I know there are parties around here, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but I can't stop looking at one of the guys. This one here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now. He's scared. <sighs> he had his way about him. That I couldn't help myself but stare at him. I've never been attracted to uh, the a bad boy type, honey. But there was something about him I couldn't quite put my finger on. All of his features were very dark except his eyes. Okay. He had dark hair and his cheekbones were so perfectly chiseled. 
you could cut well you could glass okay well I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be you could cut glass with the it said, but you you could glass with them that's what the shit said um he had a scar above his right eye on his eyebrow to prevent any hair from growing and pass it um his dark hair made his bright blue eyes pop out even more my girl oh and he caught me staring oh girl not you had to come over and talk girl sure take a seat i don't think i've ever seen you in here before just move here. Who decides to move to North Philly? It wasn't exactly a choice. Ah, gotcha. You got a name? I do. You feel like sharing that information? I don't know. It's kind of personal. Yes, I love her. Snaps for this bitch. <sighs> How about a name for a name? You could try that. I'm Killian. Oh, uh, last name? Way too personal. <laughs> Did that unlock your name? I'm Dove. Dove. That's a unique name. It means peace. I was named Dove by my mother. I have no idea why she decided to name me Dove. <laughs> that was supposed to mean peace, but she created nothing but chaos in my life, honey. It's a pretty name for an equally pretty girl. Oh boy. Get your ass on, girl. Too cheesy. You could say that. Here's your burger. Thank you. Is this guy bothering you? <laughs> We're having a friendly conversation, Sierra. See. I. Okay, no way. Uh, no conversation with you. It's a friendly one, Kel. <laughs> I wish you'd have more faith in me, see? Not likely. <laughs> you should probably go and take care of your boys. He's puke. Oh, I don't know if it's said boys or boy. I don't know. He's puking all over the cafe. The cafe. And I'm not getting blamed for one of your problems again. Ew, that's disgusting. I'll take care of it. Please, thank you. Girl, don't you set your ass down right? Sure, sit right down. Everyone else is doing it tonight. Who are you anyway? What is that supposed to mean? This town isn't very big and I've worked here for two years. I know everyone. I bet everyone loves you too. <laughs> you have such a shunny. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, disposition. Not you get such a sunny disposition. I'm Dove. I just moved to North Philly. And no, I, it wasn't my choice. I'm Sierra. I think we're going to be great friends. Laughing at her ass. Undeniably beautiful. I love this hairstyle, y'all. Her hair, her light hair, complimented her perfectly tanned skin toned so well. She was funny, though, and definitely someone I would want on my side around here. I think you're right. I stayed at the cafe for a few hours talking to Sierra and watching people, wait, and people watching. Everyone in the city seemed to have some sort of dark past for some reason. That interests me. <laughs> it makes me feel less alone. Okay. After a while, I asked the year if they were hiring, and she introduced me to her boss immediately. I was hired on the spot. At least I can save up some money to get the hell out of here in a year. As soon as I turn 18, I'm gone for good. No looking back. The next morning. Rise and shine, Dove. <laughs> this is the third time I've woken you up this morning. I don't want to go to school. You you don't really have a choice. There should be some kind of grace period for foster kids. <laughs> if you move to a new school, you should get a week off. You should take that up with the headmaster. I might just do that. Breakfast in the kitchen. You've got to be kidding me. Today's my first day of private school. My baby is getting a little on the restless side. <sighs> Look at this damn outfit. 
Dove, you look so great. I look like I belong in a cafe. I'm sorry. Would you have to get your nose wiped? Wow. So hideous. So hilarious. So hideous. Huh? Not a morning person. Got it. Not much of an afternoon person either. <laughs> Come to think of it, I'm not really a daytime person. Are you ready to go? As ready as one can be entering their own personal hell. I'll be in the car. Dove, do you want your breakfast? Mm, I guess since she made it, I, I ain't gotta be all of a bitch. Thank you, girl. You're welcome. <laughs> As we were driving through Philly out of the bad part of town, I couldn't help but notice how beautiful the city was. I've lived in cities where there wasn't a bad or good side. Just all very bad. Oh, shit. Seeing the good in the city made me imagine what life could be like. White picket fences, a loving family, huge backyard, a place to call home. The car in front of us slams on its bike, causing Rose to honk. Brought me back to reality. I would never have place. I would never have a place to call home. Damn, well, that's fucked up. Huh? I didn't deserve one. Are you nervous? Um, be sincere. A little bit. I don't fit in there. I don't fit in anywhere. It's going to be great, I promise. Only uh, only the headmaster is aware of your foster situation. It's up to you to you if you want to tell anyone you're living in my home. I'm not sure that if that's information you want spread it around the school. Um Don't tell anyone. I'd rather nobody finds out. Of course. I really don't care, but <laughs> we supposed to say nobody finds out because I ain't got time for the extra school fucking drama for no reason. What type of fucking uniforms are these, child? Quite the school. Looks more like a castle than anything. I promise you'll get used to it, Duff. Highly doubt that. There is something I want to give you. You got me a cell phone? Carol said you didn't have one and I thought this would be a good way for us to keep in touch. Be, be grateful. Thank you. No one has ever done this for me before. It's really more for me than for you. <laughs> I have to make sure you're not getting into trouble. Plus it has a GPS tracker. A tracker? I know it seems like an invasion of privacy but... It was part of the uh, the terms Carol and I came up with. Of course, Carol was involved. Anyway, I hope you like it. We have a meeting with the headmaster to get to. Trust me, we don't want to be late to that. To be continued. Okay, that was a good length. I like this. Um, if, if all the episodes are this length, I like it. She's giving us a little backdrop. Not too much. Not too little. Okay. I'm into it. We'll continue. Next time. <laughs>